Welcome back to Sussex Farm for episode 8 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So as you can see, the seeding of field 20 has begun. I've placed the seeder pretty much in the middle. I've gone up the middle and then turned left. So one half of the field will be barley. The other half of the field will be sugar cane. I'll need to sort out the seeder for that. This will continue doing this. As you also saw right at the very start, we've made some more TMR. That's in storage. I think I've got about 80,000 litres now in storage. So as the cows need it, I've got plenty. That all worked out rather well. Um, yeah, so I think the next job's going to be then, I'll say another cedar. I need to get the Scorpion King back. Um, because the Scorpion King was borrowed, and I got the Bobcat <coughs> in payment for someone borrowing it. But I need it back. Because realistically, it costs me five grand every time I fill up the seed, or five grand for the fertiliser. If I stick a tree through the wood chipper, that's going to pay for that fertiliser cost, or the, the seed cost. And I think the sugar cane, you can do it in pallets, or I think you can probably just do it from a uh, seed point, I think. But, anyway. That's going to be next, I think. Yeah. Now, isn't it terrible when your memory gets so bad you can't remember if you've done something before or not. <laughs> now, I have finally gone collected the tanker. Um, I went down and I've collected some water. Now, I was told that you can sell water at the brewery, which would make sense um, because the brewery's going to need water. But I don't know where. I'm assuming it's in here. Yes, it is. Okay, so... I can sell water here and I can deliver water to the car wash and this is making me money! How much has this just made me? Oh, 9,000. Okay, well, you know what, it's 9,000 I didn't have before. I think I made, what, 16 at the car wash. But then to be fair, I don't know because now I've got seasons turned off, I'm assuming some of these prices are going to be different. That's 10 grand, so that's I'm, I'm not knocking that at all. What I might do is whiz back over, grab another load. Can I get some of the water here? Get another load, take some to the car wash, and then maybe another load and back to the farm. Oh, there is that. Right at the end here. 
let's see. Now I'm going to come in a different angle this time. Come in on the side, and then hopefully... Hopefully I can then drive forwards and get a bit of momentum before I pull away. Right, let's get a bit of speed up this way. Before I turn up the hill. That's better than it was. Okay, so off to the car wash. Um, set a load there. I'm just thinking of leasing this um, sugarcane cedar. Now, in the last episode, and possibly in this one, I'm going to have people screaming in. I've started recording these both back to back. So there's no gap between me recording the last episode and this one. So any comments that have been left on the last episode, I won't have got yet. Because, obviously, this hasn't been posted yet. Um, so it may well be people are still shouting at the screen and going, you still can't do sugarcane. I'm pretty sure if the map's enabled um, without seasons on, it will grow. I Again, it's going to be a test. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Greenhouses are doing fantastic. They've got their manure and they've got water. We're so lucky that all around this area they've got these um, filtration systems that help with um, uh, um, that help with the uh, water situation, if you know what I mean. But let's see if I get 16. It may have been because seasons was on. It may not. I don't know. Scorpion King is being returned. Hasn't been returned yet, but it is on its way. So it has been used. And I shall get it back. Like I say, a couple of trees every now and again isn't going to hurt at all. So... Fuel and water on this map, lucrative business. 19? Whoa! Wow, wow, wee wah. Okay, that's fantastic. Um, happy camper. Help the seeds complete their task. That made light work of seeding that field, or half the field. Okay, right, this goes back to the yard. I'm not leaving it in a field this time. Um, and then, I think, now we've got 56 grand in the old skyrocket uh, will lease the sugarcane har uh, not harvester, cedar would be the word I'm looking for and let's get some sugarcane in the ground see how that works out I may do a another load of fuel at some point and buy another field I'm very conscious of the barley that I need 500,000 litres and it's going to require a lot of fuel to do that although hang on a minute let's just have a look in here I'm sure barley, field 7 has got barley in, field 12 has got barley in, 11, 2, okay there's a few fields that have got barley in already, I wonder how much field 7 is going to be expensive isn't it, but I could just, I could buy another field, it won't be ploughed, but I could get a few fertiliser states on it, so I'd only lose 10% of its yield. That might not be a bad idea. Make a bit of money first, and then buy a field with barley in it. I might do that. Okay, right. Back to the yard. Oh, I was going to get some more water, wasn't I, to bring to the for the farm, wasn't I? Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that off screen. I'm up at the store. Time to get a sugar cane cedar. This is the first time I'm doing sugar cane. I haven't done it before. I think I did it on a Stancilla Patio when it first came out. Just to have a look at sugar cane and what it did when it was. I was looking at the actual equipment that came as part of that DLC, that expansion pack. So um, I think the weather's nice enough. Sun's out. It's going to be hot enough. We'll get some sugar cane. We'll be fine with sugar cane. I'm sure we will. So. Where are we? Okay, sugarcane harvesting. 
we want let's make this a quick job that needs 140 195 220 horsepower 6800 to lease okay let's lease that the double billet planter two row it seeds and fertilizes do i need to wait for the front Oh, we'll see. Hopefully, it'll be alright. Um, so, let's just have a look over this. I don't like I say I don't normally. This is Gessner, isn't it? The Gessner Billet Planter, two row. Aus whoa, Australian owned, Australian manufactured. Australia do a lot of sugarcane, big plantations. It's a cool bit of kit. So I'm interested in seeing all this working. Normally they have a, uh, like a jet thing, like water jets, up here somewhere. And it, all the uh, bullets come up, they get kind of washed, sprayed. That's what those nozzles are here, maybe. That'll be for the fertiliser here. And each container will go down, do one billet each. The billets are the, the bits of sugarcane that are chopped up from previous harvests. They're going to the ground. Okay, well, enough of that. So let's uh, see, shall we? Should have enough horsepower to pull it. Need to fill it up first. That's going to be where it gets expensive. Let's get the beacon on, or on the back as well. So, are we able to do sugarcane? That is the mighty question. Now I've got seasons turned off, at least for the time being we shall see um, this episode has been recorded in two separate chunks one before I went away for a few days and the second part this bit I'm doing now um, since I got back I was away for a few days bit of family time with my brother as well and his family and farm dog and you know everyone else uh, where's my best place to go and fill this up at the farm I don't think there's anywhere else between here and there oh garden centre actually if I go towards the garden centre it's out near field 20 Let's fill up at the garden centre. Um, so yeah, um, and I've had a few messages back and forwards with Jim. He's still continuing <laughs> tirelessly to work on this map. Um, he's got a few ideas up his sleeve. He's, he's thinking about or has, or he's actually playing around with to see removing the jet that flies overhead. He's thinking of installing a couple of other things that require less... Um, not computing power, I suppose computing power the ship that leaves the dock and comes back regularly, he's looking at that as an option because all these things are timed and because they're on timers it's a repeating thing, it does um, he's worried that might be causing a lot of issues for people the thing you have to remember, and this is you know, again, from talking to Jim what I'm kind of getting my head around is a map maker will make a map and they'll test it out and they'll do all the things they need to do the thing you've got to remember is how many mods are available now for PC especially more than console but how many mods are available in the mod hub a mod maker can't test every single mod that's available to make sure it works with their map they can't test everything to make sure it's going to be compatible so when they release their map they are releasing that under the premise that they've tested as much as they can do and then it becomes like a live test then doesn't it everybody has a go everyone plays and let people find the problems the glitches the mods that don't work and hopefully that gets back to the mod maker and they'll then or the map maker and they'll make adjustments they need to i don't suppose any map will ever be perfect for all mods for everything to work properly i don't know but uh like i said i don't in the first part i did mention this jim is is really working hard to get this just right so let's is it liquid film? let's just click on that there we go well it's filling up whichever one it is liquid or solid and then see this is where it's saying get expensive really expensive whoa okay Yeah, so what I'm thinking is then we've got these two nozzles just up here. I assume that spray, or the spray bars here, I'll cover these red nozzles here 
the spray bars these little mini conveyors with the, the bars on pull the billets up and over the top they get sprayed they get down the chutes out to the bottom here they come out underneath these front um, I can't remember what they're called now anyway they're, they're trying to fork bits at the front to dig into the ground open the ground up the bits go in and these rollers and the various different things at the back close it back over it so well I came down to 28,000 that cost an absolute fortune 20,000 on the seed now I've got hope this seed doesn't need refilling again <laughs> otherwise that's going to leave me incredibly short of funds it's an interesting looking setup isn't it exciting stuff first time doing sugar cane the good thing with sugar cane as well is it's that crop that I think how many times is it two or three times it will regrow or is it a continual thing I think it's two or three and then you have to reseed or plow and then go again the great thing is because it's a high yielding crop the the price you get for it is quite low but it yields high you can use previous crop from the year before as your seed a bit like sugar beet and potatoes as far as I gather so what I can do once this gets set off and running this actually probably could have done with the weight on the front because this does feel a bit floaty now at the moment so let's get this into the field I need to find that halfway mark where I started doing the barley which is just about here now the question is how far over do I need to come actually what I might do I'm going to leave a strip I think leave a gap if I start here Okay, momentous occasion. Let's go. There we go. Spray bars. It's brilliant. So all I have to do is stick with it to make sure when it turns at the other end, it turns the right way and doesn't go over the barley. It doesn't. Oh, I suppose it's going down fairly quickly, even if I have to do it a second time. That amount from there to there, it's going to be a fair bit of sugar cane, I would imagine. And like I say, I have got some contracts now two or three that are asking me for bales for various different farms and farmsteads but because I've got seasons turned off now it does mean that the grass will grow quicker which means I'll be able to do some of those contracts fairly quickly silage bales, grass bales or hay bales I can produce those, get them loaded, get them down to the docks or wherever they need to go off to um, and fulfil those contracts fairly quickly in all honesty always interested in using something new something different please turn the right way yes So this will be part for Milsons. The barley on the left hand side will be for Milsons Maltons. The sugar cane will be for Matt. That was right, wasn't it? 
big proper seaweed with the sugar beet, so I'm going to need to. I will need to buy another uh, another harvester. Uh, oh, what is the matter with me? Another cedar, so I can do sugar beet, and that will be in field six. A W needs bales. Yellowhammer needs bales. Someone else that needs bales, but I'll check into that at a later date. Great stuff. Obviously, there is the other awkward situation of um, harvesters. Don't have a harvester, so I'm going to start thinking about that as well. What am I going to do about harvesters? I need some way to make money. We we'll might have to be doing a bit of logging, maybe. We'll see. Or just keep doing the fuel runs and the uh, the water runs as well. Um, keep up with the greenhouses, and I think we'll be okay. I think. Yeah, should be right. Okay, what I'm going to do is leave this going for a little while. What I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to jump out. Top corner of this field, I think, is where the other seed have finished doing the barley. So I'll go and grab that. Oh, I'm going to have to look as well. Like I say, I might, I might well get another field. Um, if I can get enough money together, buy another field, but one that's already got barley in it. So what I will do in a minute is have a look at what fields are available, what jobs need doing on them maybe do a contract here or there and uh, yeah see how we get on financially didn't do too bad with seed considering the size of the field I will do as well while that's going. I think I'll grab the the man and I'll um, take that first load of barley down to Milton's Maltings opposite the brewery. So we may need to do that for ages. So that will go down and put, be put into their storage, ready for them to make it into malt for brewing. I'm also this is I think this is the first time I'm mentioning this as well at the brewery and once we get the brewery up and running I'm thinking of going a little bit different with beers I've got bees so I'm thinking of doing a, uh, a honey beer uh, some various different description I'll think of a name for it I had a few ideas um, and I think I'm going to do a milk stout and milk stouts are a little bit different it's to do with the lactose um, uh, being added or removed I can't reach my hero it is now mine's gone blank yeah, I'm thinking of doing a milk stout because I've got the cows um, on the farm and it's going to be a brewery as well. I'm thinking of utilising what I've got um, to make some different sorts of beers. So I think I'll do that. I might get another orchard up and running. Oh, it was mentioned to me by a couple of people. Maybe we could do cider. That's possible as well. I might even do a wheat beer. Who knows? That's not a bad idea. I need to... Oh, that's a point. I need wheat, don't I, for the bakery. I can't let seal EG down. I haven't got any field to wheat yet. Uh, where do I put this? Need to find home for it. My fields of barley that I already started to plant. Oh, really coming through. I, I had it set on slow, didn't I? Not fill this up just yet don't need it at the moment so let's back that in perfect this I'm disconnected that's good I'm going grab the cramp I do need to take another load of manure down to the docks for um, for farmer Kinnan 
he supplied me, supplied me with the first few sheep as did Womble Way so I do need to keep supplying him with manure but in this needs to go the barley I've got on hand I only get 59,000 litres in here but that'll be the first 59,000 down to them of my contract of 500,000 litres <coughs> but that's alright it's all part and parcel of a busy farm just going to check something actually once this is full Plant growth is set on normal. Maybe I need to put it onto slow because I think if I go this way down towards field 11, I think the first shoots will be coming through, which has been incredibly quick. So I think to try and keep some semblance, even though it's not close to being seasons, that's too quick. I need that to be a little bit slower. Otherwise, I'm going to be able to harvest so quickly, it'd be ridiculous. So, yeah, I think uh, I'll turn it down slow. There are jobs I can be getting on with in the meantime. And get a few contracts done off screen as well, I think. So, this. Oh, yeah, that was the thing I got told off for. Uh, cover. Uh, yeah, I should be covering my trailers when I'm transporting. I think I'm starting to get the hang of the map as well which routes to go and where to get, how to get to certain places so a few little shortcuts here and there which are quite handy Whoa. So just up here on the right, Milton's Maltings. Take it in here. Tip it into their silo. Hmm. Right, let's see. Is that on tip side grain door? Uh, is it that one? That's better.
right, 59,000 litres into Milton's Maltings. Let's go and check on the field, take this back up. Well, from what I can gather, the sugarcane seeding is going very well. Whether it will grow or not remains to be seen. I am... Um, yeah, there seems to be a fair split. I'm using far less fertiliser than I am seed. And I'm not even... What, a third of the way across? If I'm not a third of the way across and I've used... Oh, blimey, a fair amount of that seed. I'm going to be looking at oof, refilling this two more times that's another 40 grand which I don't have um, I need to make some money I can do a couple of slurry runs but you only get about two grand for each of those runs that's not going to make me much money maybe another water run off screen either to the car wash or the brewery or both maybe Both are possible. I do like this double billet one, it's very good. Obviously, when we get to harvest season, it's not going to be a simple case of getting a harvester with a couple of different heads for doing sugar beet and barley. We're going to have to have various different harvesters, aren't we? Yup. Now I'll just I'm doing my next run of water to the car wash. I've done the brewery and I made about 9,000 again. It does say help end has stopped working unexpectedly. The tank is empty so this is about time for me to make the money. I need to refill it. Hope this will be about 19,000 again. Yep, perfect. Right, so back over to field 20, grab the cedar, refill it. 40 grand, we'll, we will refill it twice more, so I've got enough now to refill it. Uh, where am I going? Oh, yeah, field 20. Then what I need to do is get the Scorpion King back. I think I need to do a little bit of logging to get enough money to another fuel load. I'll try that again. Make hopefully make a little bit of money on that. And yeah, keep kind of ticking over. Once I've got enough grass grown, I can sort out some of those contracts for bales. Sugar beet. That's our thin cedar. I need to get sugar beet in the ground, don't I? Of course I do. Field six. So, actually what I will do, I think I'll take the truck back, the lorry back, sorry, truck, take the lorry back, and I'll go to field 20, oh god, I was going to do it on foot, but I'm not going to, no, it'll take me forever, what's the point of that?
So with the second load into the Gessner Cedar. Not quite halfway yet. It's going to take a little while and it's going to cost a bit of money, but we'll get there. That should be my contract well and truly underway for Matt. We have come to the end of an episode. I'm now looking at ways I can make money. Hopefully by the next episode I'll have the Scorpion King back. I can rack up a bit of money, probably off screen. I'll, I might do a little montage to start the next episode. Not montage, but time lapse or something along those lines. If I get the Scorpion King back, a bit of um, login to get enough money to do a load of fuel. Sell that, make a bit of profit. Then I should have enough to buy the cedar to do the sugar beet. Um, and that's kind of the knock-on effect then of yeah doing the various different jobs that's the plan so i hope you've enjoyed this episode we're now getting sugarcane in the ground for the first time on any of my let's plays i know it's not on an american map or um, a south american map where it'd be hotter and more likely to be done however i wanted to give it a go if it works well on this map when i do my next let's play which hopefully um, i'm doing oakfield and i'm doing sussex at the moment when either of those come to a close I move on to um, an American map, which I'm hoping to do. Maybe we'll do a lot more sugarcane production using various different bits of equipment and trailers, etc, etc. We'll see how we go with that. Um, but if you have enjoyed this episode, please give us a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.